the idea that uh, someday I may not be there for my family when they need me um, was for me uh, such a, a painful thought. As if the physical pain of living with terminal cancer wasn't excruciating enough, Thomas Hartle also suffers from crushing anxiety, knowing that he is approaching the end of his life. The one thing that has helped him deal with it is treatment every few months with psilocybin, one of the active ingredients in magic mushrooms. It allows me to address some of the problems that are uh, what I would call a real emotional hot potato. Hartle was one of the first people in Canada to be granted a federal exemption to be treated with psilocybin. It came directly from the health minister, in his case, former minister Patty Haidu. The exemption lasted a year. It expired more than a year ago, and ever since... A lot of radio silence. He has yet to hear from current minister Jean-Yves Duclos, and Health Canada gave Hartle no reason and no update. They didn't reply to our request for comment, but confirmed to the Canadian press that requests from Hartle and hundreds of others are still up in the air. Meanwhile, just about anyone can get direct access to unregulated mushrooms without even looking all that hard. There are sites online to buy micro and macro doses. Even brick and mortar stores have popped up, routinely get raided by police and open back up again. It's very reminiscent of the days before cannabis was legalized. And many feel it's only a matter of time before magic mushrooms go the same route. Though this U of T researcher feels much more study is needed. Cynically, I don't think they're going to wait the 10 or 20 years it takes us as scientists to get that story together. In the meantime, Hartle has been working with a group of medical professionals called Theracil, which last year launched a charter challenge calling on the federal government to grant psilocybin access to patients in need. They say not doing so violates their rights. So why not turn the tables and go the illegal route himself? Hartle doesn't want to risk unregulated, unstandardized treatment. Why would we spend our time encouraging people to do the illegal things when people could be uh, encouraging change in the law itself. Mark Carcassel, Global News.